Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our optional bug fix C release update rolling out for Windows 10 for April 2025. And this is more or less the same update I posted on just a couple of days ago when it was still in preview and has now landed in the stable channel. Now the update is optional, so you don't have to install the update. And I suggest you don't unless you have had any problems with your machine. And if we head into our update history, if you do decide to install the update, it's KB5055612. Now, this is quite a minor update. It really only contains three fixes, one of which is for a known issue, which is always good when known issues get fixed and patched. And I think the reason this is a minor update is because we are now nearing the end of support of the operating system. So Microsoft is really just pushing out what it needs to just to keep the operating system functional and stable obviously until that end of support date in October this year. Now first of all we have a fix for graphics where Microsoft says that the check for GPU para virtualization now just a quick side note in case you don't know what GPU para virtualization is it provides an interface to virtual machines that are similar to their underlying hardware. So there's a fix for that, where para-virtualization was case sensitive, according to Microsoft, in Windows subsystem for Linux. The issue might potentially cause GPU para-virtualization support to fail. So that's quite a mouthful, but all you need to know there is a fix for graphics. And then we've also got a OS security update where there's updates to the Windows kernel vulnerable driver block list. Microsoft mentions that additions have been made to block list drivers with security vulnerabilities that have been used in bring your own vulnerable driver attacks. And then as mentioned, there is a known issue that's been patched with this latest update. And the known issue is regarding the system guard runtime monitor broker service. And I actually think I posted on this a while back. So this is all to do, if we just do a quick recap, this is all to do with the legacy event viewer, where you can check out different errors um, that are generated by your OS to try and problem solve. So the Windows event viewer might display an error related to the sgrmbroker.exe on devices that had installed Windows updates released January the 14th, that would have been the Patch Tuesday updates for this year in January, or later. So all you need to know there is if you were experiencing that issue, that was a known issue that has fortunately been patched. Always good to see known issues being resolved. And then over and above that, guys, there is an update to the servicing stack which is the component that installs Windows updates and Microsoft does push those out with these optional updates. And if you do decide to install the update, because it is optional, if we head over to our About Windows, Winver, Windows 10 version 22H2, the OS build has been bumped up to 19045.5796 after this update has been installed. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.